Another day, another video. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're watching the Big Bang Theory. This is the twenty-second episode of the fifth season. Hope you guys have been enjoying it so far. If you liked today's full episode, this is available for from the link in the description below. Just clicking it, put the password in, and enjoy. Funny last episode, in my opinion. You know, Sheldon, he really wanted to meet Stephen Hawking. Uh, Howard had the opportunities from his work to obviously go spend time with him. I think he had a whole week, and you know, because Sheldon always kind of you know belittles his work and says that he's not a real scientist and he's not intellectually enough to follow along with it conversations and stuff like that howard was going to introduce him but because obviously he's done that he decided look i'll let him uh fester stew pretend that he's not going to and i'm going to make him do things for me and take advantage of him and obviously he was just getting him to do little things like clean his belt you know walk around in a maid outfit that he bought bernadette but she didn't want to wear it so he made Sheldon do it and uh, just in general just having a good laugh now interestingly you know he actually did give Stephen Hawking his paper and he did do the introduction and uh you know Sheldon at the end of the episode was sat there he was talking to him and uh Stephen Hawking actually turned around and said that he made an error in his theory or his equation on page two and Sheldon as classic Sheldon does fated at the situation Stephen Hawking looked like he's having a good time as well and he was like well he was smiling and typing away and uh you know it's a good other cameo like addition you know I do love the special guests into the show and that was a decent one as well uh two big names Stanley and Stephen Hawking so we've had other cameos as well from other big celebrities you know that they've been on the Star Trek uh, franchises and and stuff like that but in terms of major stars I feel like they, they're really really big ones and uh, I'd love to see the rest and more because just like you know how many seasons do we have 11 12 i think it's about 11 and like um we're on season five now so clearly it's not even in the main thick of its run yet so hopefully more people want to come and join and just make appearances it'd be really fun thanks for checking out today's episode hope you guys enjoy it if you do please smash like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> Makes you laugh, Sheldon, when he does stuff like that. The conversation is sparkling. Fine, I'll tell you. A lichen is an organism made up of two separate species, fungi and algae. If you could merge with another species, what species would you pick? There is a right answer. Um, I'd pick swan because uh, the resulting hybrid would have the advanced industrial civilization of a human and the long, graceful neck I've always dreamed of having. Horse, but mostly just for the height. A little bit for the genital girth. Kangaroo. Uh, I'd be a uh, kangajoo. <laughs> <laughs> the best organism for human beings to merge with is the lichen itself. That way you'd be human, fungus, and algae. Got us again? No, he didn't. <laughs> anyway, if it's okay with you, we should talk about Howard's bachelor party. I've been doing some research on strippers. One agency I spoke to said they can get us a great price if we're flexible on age range and number of limbs. I promise Bernadette, no strippers. <laughs> You don't want strippers? You're the king of strippers. That one club in North Hollywood named a pole after you. You know Germans have an interesting pre-wedding well, custom. It's probably not for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hear you and the Lost Boys are having a bachelor party tonight. So nothing to worry about. Why should I worry? Well, I don't know. It's a bachelor party. There could be strippers. Wouldn't that make you a little jealous? Oh, come on, Leonard, it's you. What's going to happen? The right conditions? I, I am capable of just really crazy stuff. <laughs> well, have fun tonight. Oh, I will. There is no telling what might happen. Do you know what, right? Do you think, you know, when it's a bachelor party or bachelorette, oh, mate, I've been saying that I'd love to see a bachelor and a bachelorette party. Let's hope that we just focus on the guys this episode and maybe the next we focus on the women. That'd be really good. You know, that would be actually my plan. It'd be fantastic. You know, you could even do this bachelorette wedding in the end of the season. Now, I think that's too much goodness to be wrapped up in small package. But at the end of the day, if you are finished with a bang, that's the way to go. But would you be jealous? So, for example... If he was a female, and obviously your husband to be was at his bachelor party, you know, and they had strippers, would you be jealous? Even if there was ten girls in there naked now, all dancing around all over them, just you know, whatever's the same way as if he was a guy, would you be jealous if uh, the girls got loads of strippers in for them, like Magic Mike or whatnot, and just ten guys in all dancing, having a good time? Because I wouldn't. At the end of the day, do you know what I mean? Like you know that she's marrying you, and you know that she's there. Uh, just have a good time and let her hair down and be loose and just go for it until, you know what I mean, the big day. You know what I mean? Just have a spend time with her friends. 
I just don't see the problem with it, me, at all. It's not as if it's a daily occurrence that you've gone out to work and you come back and he's sat there with a woman. Do you know what I mean? It's just like a one-off thing. All the guys go out, have a great time. Look, you can even see Stuart. It looks like Quick Kids there as well. Do you know what I mean? And obviously the girls, uh, hopefully Amy will be back and so forth. So I wouldn't be jealous. I, I just let them do whatever they want me and go go for it. Not a really nice spot to have a bachelor party. It's not bad. Unless you compare it to a train, and then it stinks. If I'm to participate in the social convention that is the stag night, then I must embrace all its components, including tobacco, swear words, and yes, alcohol. <laughs> hey, well, nice of you to make it out tonight for Howard. Well, it was either this or another hot tub party at George Decay's house. <laughs> Things are a little tight at the comic book store. I might need some help covering my share of the check. Oh, yeah, no worries. Uh, and maybe a few bucks for the valet. Uh, all right. And gas money to get home. <laughs> for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, which nobody can deny. Actually, Barry, we're not going to have strippers tonight. Ah, uh, then what the frig did I get $200 in singles out for? Maid of Honor, Amy Farrah Fowler, bringing you the wedding activities just weeks out from the big day. Ladies, can you tell us what you're doing? <laughs> um, these are gift bags we're going to put in the hotel rooms of our out-of-town guests. Bernadette. On your wedding night, you'll be consummating your marriage. What do you think your first sexual position will be as husband and wife? <laughs> hey, please. Keeping in mind that whoever's on top may set the tone for the marriage. Ask her things like, are you going to take Howard's name? Not who's going to sit on who? I've actually been thinking I'm going to hyphenate. Bernadette, Marianne, Rostenkowski, Wallowitz. We set up our beautiful wedding website with cute little facts about our family histories. Do you know for a while in Poland, my family and his family were neighbors? Oh, that's cool. No, it's not. I'll explain it to you later. We are here tonight to celebrate the upcoming nuptials of my best friend, Howard Wolowitz. <laughs> Anyone have any words they'd like to say about a man of the evening? I always thought you'd be the last one of us to ever get married because you are so short and unappealing. Am I right? <laughs> I've always thought that you'd make someone a fine husband someday, assuming you'd be able to get the parts and develop the engineering skills to assemble them, which I don't see as likely. Hacha! <laughs> Howard, you are a good friend, and I wish you nothing but happiness. Bazinga, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, double bazinga, I do. I'm gonna say something to you that everybody's thinking, but no one has the courage to say out loud. <laughs> when you invite a man to a bachelor party, the implication is there will be strippers. It all comes down to me as the best man. When I first came to this country, I was pretty lonely. Then I met Howard and we could be lonely together. This man became my whole world. Yeah, nice speech, Francine. I'm not done, but thank you. <laughs> I think back <laughs> to all the good times we had, like uh, when we went camping and spent that night telling each other all our secrets. He told me he lost his virginity to his cousin. <laughs> and the first woman you ever disappointed sexually. Bada bazinga! Sit down. Oh, 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 what about that, that tubby girl in the Sailor Moon costume at Comic-Con? <laughs> the only threesome I've ever had in my whole life. And I'm proud to say it was with this man right here! Internet, this is so going all over you. Jeepers, I'm drunk. <laughs> I love Charles and smile. To be fair, I actually don't think anything wrong was said there. To be honest, a bachelor, a uh, bachelor party, way worse than that usually. I feel like that speech there that Raj give is kind of what you do on a best man speech in front of everybody, but you would drop the details a little bit. You won't be that graphic as to say but the story wise of obviously coming here spending time camping revealing the secrets but you won't go into it you know what i mean you'd be like that's give us that a deep connection and we've done this this and this and when we went to vegas and we had this this and you know what i mean like i feel like they're the type of things that you do say you kind of embarrass the groom or the bride or whatever is when you do your speeches at the wedding it's something like you you recall experiences and life and um, you know life choices that you've all made together and then um, you know he's a crazy wild one remember when he done this this and this and they're always sat there like shit mate don't 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 reveal it do you know what i mean like i actually think that was bad uh, that wasn't even bad so uh if howard is upset that's fine <laughs> he shouldn't be upset he, he was there just to relay the good memory basically what raj was doing is relaying all the good memories that he's had together with him and i actually don't mind that at all Thank you for picking us up. 
There's a warning right there on the scotch bottle. Cannot be operated heavy machinery after you've had a snoot full of that <laughs> <laughs> You boys have a nice time? Yeah, it was great. She's fuming, she's seen the video. Nice. Mate, there's nothing wrong with that video. How about you? Did you have a fun night? Yeah, we uh, made gift back and then went online and saw this. No, we're not that far from my apartment. If you stop the car, I can walk from here. <laughs> You ain't going anywhere three way. But you told me about all the girls you've been with, but you never mentioned your cousin, the prostitute, or why? <laughs> you don't even have to stop the car. Anything under 10 miles an hour, and I can combat roll into the street. I heard the prostitute. She was a gift from him. I, but shame on you, Rox. That is not how we treat women in this country. <laughs> okay, she's upset that he didn't tell her the full story. Do. I'm supposed to marry Howard in a couple weeks, and. I'm not sure I even know who the man is anymore. What's bothering you most? Borderline incest, the prostitute, or group sex with the girl dressed as the children's cartoon? Hey, Amy, remember when we went over things that would be helpful and things that wouldn't? And that was... Not. <laughs> Did you know about all the creepy stuff he was into? Oh, yeah. A little you hear stuff. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I was gonna, but I didn't think it would go past the first date. God! I actually think she's gone way over the top, to be fair. me again. Please call me back. You're upset. The convention is to bring an upset person a hot beverage. No, but what is it? It's chicken broth. Well, Howard, I don't know much about women. Yeah. That, that's it. I don't know much about women. <laughs> the phone number of the tubby girl from Comic-Con. <laughs> Not calling the girl from Comic-Con. More Sailor Moon for me. <laughs> I just threw up the bachelor party. <laughs> Mate, every time you throw up, you feel great. Honestly, you really, really do. And... You know, I actually do feel like Bernadette's kind of going over the top. I mean, I get that she can be kind of a tiny bit annoyed that she's asked him how many people have you slept with and he could have been like five and then obviously she hears his story and she's like, well, technically it's six, seven, eight. Do you know what I mean? Because there's three there that you've not disclosed. But apart from that, like, I actually don't know. I, I personally think that Bernadette's going over the top. Like, he's done... All she should be concerned about is how he treats her and how he has been as a person since they've been in a relationship. That's what I personally think. Perhaps you should give him a taste of his own medicine. Do you have a cousin who you find attractive? Hey, you introduced her to the sleaze bag. I'm just trying to clean up your mess. I need to talk to Bernadette. Well, I don't think she wants to talk to anyone right now. Tell her I'm really sorry. What I really want her to know is that the guy that she's disgusted by is the guy that I'm disgusted by too, but that guy doesn't exist anymore. He's gone. The reason is because of her. Her know that she made me a better man. Oh my god, Howard. <laughs> That's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. And it came out of you. Penny has a message for you. <laughs> I heard. Peter, I'm still really mad at you. Is there anything else about your past I should know? Couple things, but most of them happened overseas. I'll tell you later. Is the wedding still on? Yeah. The wedding's still on. <laughs> I'm still a maid of honor. <laughs> He's kind of hot. What's with the robe? I'm going to have sex with you right here, right now, on that washing machine. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> Come on, please. If you want to do something, you can help me fold this sheet. Folding a sheet, my underwear. Still pretty crazy. The thing is, yeah, I said it literally about five minutes ago on the last break that we had, that... Bernadette was going over the top. Honestly, she really, really was. Like, she's concerned about something that's nothing to be concerned about. You know, if you're in a relationship, you should only be concerned about how that person has acted, treated, and been since you've been together. For example, if you've known them for five years, and in them five years, they've never cheated on you, never made you, you know, second-guess them, never brought any disconfidence you know what i mean distrust to you they've always done everything for you they made you treat and feel well you know like if you found out like 10 years ago so five years before you even met them that he was a wild one and every other weekend they went out sleeping with people okay you know that's not what you want to hear but at the end of the day that's not the howard that's you know now that's you've been with for five years you know what i mean like how could you tr treat somebody from uh the past when they've done nothing to you you know what i mean so like she should only have her opinion formed of howard from the opinion that she knows of howard and i believe that's ev i believe that's everything in all of life to be honest you know 10 years ago when somebody was 20 years old yeah 
they might have gone around and they might have burgled a few things here and there. Do you know what I mean? They might have had a bit of a troubled past. They might have gone to prison for one or two years. And then now, fast forward to 30, so 10 years later, you know, they've absolutely changed their life completely. Do you know what I mean? Like, they, they volunteer in the community. They, they do this and they do that. They help people out. You know what I mean? Like, they're always spending the time giving, 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 never taking, treating everybody with respect. And then, you know, do you think that somebody should look at it and say, yo, this dude... 10 years ago, done this and this. It's like, no, mate. You know me now as the rejuvenalized person, the changed man, the one that's helping everybody out. You know what I mean? The good Samaritan. And, and that's how you should do it. Never judge it from what you used to be. Judge it from who they are. And that's how... I, I mean, I'm glad that she came out and I accepted it. And it was a nice speech that he said as well. He come in, he apologised. He said that that's how I used to be. And the thing is, he used to be like that because he was on his own. You know what I mean? And he was like bacheling around. And, you know, he couldn't really go out and pick up girls here and there. So he might have had to sometimes fall back on, you know, um, a sex worker or something. But now... He's all in. Bernadette, he loves her, you can tell, and he can't wait to be married. So that's all she should care about. And I'm glad she came out. She accepted it. Read a great speech. All the girls looked like they was happy and emotional. And he was emotional as well. It was a good scene. And yeah, it was a good episode. Okay, that is going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So we had the Bachelor Party. And to be honest, it wasn't the best, was it? You know, it wasn't the crazy episode that I was hoping for. It wasn't the Vegas going all out, drinking, party and gambling. And, you know, all the guys there just going mad. It was just kind of like a tame, subdued party. And to be honest, that's out of his respect to Bernadette. It actually is, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? He knows that if she's seen that or knew that was happening, that she's feeling comfortable and upset and he's decided to, you know, just keep it low and calm and just have a good time with his mates and, uh, you know, uh, Will Eaton's is not that bad. You know what I mean? Like, he did post it. Sometimes you got to keep saying, it's like the Hangover movie. We've all seen it. Do you know what I mean? They go out and I get absolutely ruined. They do this crazy shit, all these drugs, and they have these photos and at the end of the film, you know what I mean? They say, look, you know, we look at these... We flip through them and then they're gone. Don't tell anyone. You know what I mean? And it's like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. That's how it should be. You know, some things you just got to keep to yourself. Let it all out, all this embarrassment. Get it all there. Let all these mates laugh. Let them all pick on him. You know, let let it all just go out. Get there in the ether and then just keep it between you. It's a bonding moment, isn't it? And I know Will's put it online, but... Uh, you should just keep it to yourself. But again, you can't really blame him. You know, he thought it was funny and he enjoyed it and he wanted other people to see it. And obviously, he doesn't know that I was not told Bernadette any of this stuff. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of bit him on the ass. But I'm glad they resolved it. I'm hoping we get a bachelorette party now. It'd be really good. If Amy's the maid of honour and she's the one that's deciding what's going to happen, then God knows what that's going to be. To be honest... She's unpredictable. She's a bit crazy. She could go wild, couldn't she? It'd be it's exciting, actually. I'm actually really excited for it. So thanks for checking out today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash like. Really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.